Today I will demonstrate how to use the auto overclock feature offered in the latest version of Zotac's Firestorm utility. This will work on all GTX 10 series cards as well as all RTX 20 series cards. This utility will also work no matter if your card is manufactured by Asus, MSI, Zotac, or EVGA. This utility is very similar to MSI's Afterburner or EVGA's X1. I personally like the Firestorm utility because it is, it is the most user friendly and feature rich utility of the three offering the ability to set a custom fan curve and even the option to overclock the display all in the same control panel. I recommend using only one overclock utility at a time as using more than one at a time may cause system instability. I, rec I recommend the auto overclock feature for beginners and experienced users alike. This is a great feature for those who are a little too nervous to play with their card's overclock settings or those who are just flat out perplexed or confused by all the overclock settings and options. The auto overclock is also a great option for those trying to save time. It is a safe and easy way to get a stable overclock in under 15 minutes. However, it is a modest overclock resulting only in modest gains in performance. The auto overclock feature works by stressing your GPU while simultaneously raising the GPU clock speeds in small increments. It will raise the clock speeds until the scan begins to detect in system instability at which point it ends the scan, and gives you the results and the option to either apply the overclock or to cancel. I will perform three benchmarks in 3D mark time spy demo, first with the GPU at stock, second with the GPU's auto overclock settings, and then finally using my personal overclock settings. And then I will show you all three scores and the difference in performance between all three. Now I will show you right here. This right here is a button you click, and it brings up this window right here. It says, this will scan your GPU's, <coughs> excuse me, Ooh, their, gra their grammar's a little messed up here. Uh, this will scan your GeForce graphics card to calculate the optimal GPU clock size. The scan may take between 5 and 10 minutes, and you'll click yes. I can't actually run my screen recording program and run the scan at the same time because it'll crash my system, but I recommend running the scan with absolutely nothing else on or running on your computer. So. No Internet Explorer, no Firefox, no Google. I actually recommend disconnecting your machine from the internet. You know, just going to control panel, network adapter, and then disabling your network adapter so you have no internet connection. Go to your uh, task manager, you know, disable, you know, uh, in the, all the processes that aren't truly necessary. You know, if there's anything running in the background like, you know, Outlook or Microsoft Word and those things. Because the less you have running, the higher the overclock it will give you. Now, if you have a lot running, you're going to get a really low overclock uh, from the auto scan. So I'm going to run the auto, I'm going to pause this, I'm going to run the auto overclock, and I'm going to then show you the results when I'm done. And then I, uh, I'll show you exactly what it recommends for the auto overclock, and then I'll move forward with the benchmarking. Here, the recommended clock that um, I got was six megahertz. Um, very minor, um, but as you'll see in the uh, actual benchmark, um, it made it does make a difference. Very minimal, as but you'll see. So I've completed my benchmarks with Time Spy. Um, this is it is the free demo version of Time Spy, which I've included the link for in the description below um i like it it is a free demo through steam and it works pretty well and it's kind of fun to watch um but anyhow um this is a screenshot of my score in time spy with no overclock on the gpu none and you can see here um don't really look at overall, but uh, this score right here, 10,336 for the graphics, an average FPS of 65 for 
test one and an average of 60 for test two. Now let's look at the auto overclock score. You can already see it is a little bit higher with an overall score of 10,397. and an average FPS of 66, as well as again 60, which is um, a pretty minimal difference, but it is somewhat, you know, 60 points higher. Um, now, let's look at... Yeah, this is with my manual overclock. This is the overclock I was able to attain with just, you know, 20 minutes of time or so. Probably just a little bit longer than, than the auto overclock took to find a stable overclock. Uh, you can see the score is higher, but if you look at the FPS, I mean, 66 here, 66 there. I mean, very small difference. And if you look again here at the difference between uh, the manual overclock and the no overclock, the difference is still pretty small. I mean, 70 points or so, a little less than 70 points. I mean, with the score, and if you actually look at FPS, it's literally you know, almost the exact same. One, one FPS per second. So for some of you, you know, that small difference may be something you want to try. Um, for me, it uh, doesn't really matter. I, I, do, I feel like I do notice a difference in gaming when I do play. I feel like the FPS is just a little bit better now. Um, I'm not sure if this does have real world implication or not, but... I like it, it works well for me. The auto OC feature, I mean, again, let's look at. It does provide, a, like I said, a modest overclock that is stable. You're not gonna get a system crash or a green screen or a BSOD, any of that. So I think it is good to use. It does provide a small, overclock when it, for those people who are trying to get that last drop of power out of their graphics card and like I said it does work for 10 series cards and 20 series cards um, so um, those are there's some of you might get a lot better results than some of you might get very similar results uh, if you do have good results uh, please uh, tell us what, how it went for you in uh, in the comments I really appreciate it Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, please subscribe. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, your views are important. Share my video if you can. Alright, thanks.